Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and I want to show you guys today how you can buy Dogecoin. So the easiest way to buy Dogecoin is on Binance because it's first of all the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world and it also has the highest um, trading volume in Dogecoin compared to other platforms. So it's the most liquid platform. So you will usually get the best prices there and the fees are also very cheap. So the highest fee that you can pay there is 0.1% for a trade. So it's really cheap compared to other platforms and you actually get the best prices. So if you don't have a Binance account yet, I put the link down in the description and with that link, you can actually save 10% on trading fees if you sign up with that link. So once you have a Binance account, the next thing you need to do is you need to Verify your account, or at least that's what you need to do in order to trade Dogecoin against fiat currencies like euros or British pound or Australian dollars. If you only want to trade Dogecoin against other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, um, you don't need to verify your identity on Binance. However, you need to have these cryptocurrencies before. If you don't have them and you need to buy them here, so you need to um, verify your identity. In order to verify your identity, you would just click here. And then you can see here, I'm already verified. However, if I wouldn't be verified, there would be a link that you can click and then you can upload an your ID card or a passport and then you will get verified. And that usually just takes a few seconds. Um, if the quality of the picture of the passport is good or of your identity card. So once you are verified and the next thing we can do is we can deposit some money into our Binance account. And in order to do that, we just click here on Fiat and Spot Wallet. And then we can click deposit here. And then we can decide if we want to deposit crypto. So we can deposit any cryptocurrency that we want, or we can deposit fiat currencies. So for example, if we want to deposit euros, and we can choose between a bank transfer or um, depositing something with our credit card, like a Visa or MasterCard. Um, as you can see, there's a fee if we choose um, the credit card, there's a 1.8% fee. And if you choose bank transfer, the deposit is actually free. You can also withdraw via bank transfer. That would cost 80 cents. And if you want to withdraw via credit cards, that would cost 1% on fees. So let's stick with depositing. And there we just need to type in how much we want to deposit. Let's say 500 euros. Then we can click continue. And here you have to confirm that the name of the bank you are borrowing the money from and matches the name of the Binance account or the name the Binance account is verified to. So I'm verified on Binance with my name Guido Lang and of course and my bank account runs under the same name. And as a name of the receiver, I need to enter Binance if I do the transaction, the wire transfer. However, once we confirm that, and the next thing we get is the account number and we can wire the money to. And of course, you need to add the reference to the wire transfer and then we can just wire the money there. Um, it depends which bank you are using. I use um, Revolut and it usually arrives within second, seconds when I do a wire transfer, so that's really um, fast. However, with other banks, it could take one to two days until the money arrives. And it really depends on the bank you are using. Once you have that, the next thing you can do is you can um, start buying Dogecoin. And in order to do that, we just go back to our Fiat and Spot wallet. Spot basically means um, all your cryptocurrencies. So you have a Bitcoin spot wallet there and Ethereum wallet and basically all the cryptocurrencies that are traded on Binance. And then you can see there's Dogecoin here. You can also search for Dogecoin, for example. And then you can click trade here. 
and then you can see all the cryptocurrencies that Dogecoin is traded against. So for example, Bitcoin or Euros, for example, um, it doesn't really make a difference in terms of trading. If we want to trade it against Bitcoin or Euros, it really depends on what you deposited. So let's say we deposited Euros. However, if you would have deposited Bitcoin, it would basically be the same interface, but instead of Euros, it would say Bitcoin. So the trading interface basically looks like that. We have a chart here and here you have the price, the current price. You can see the price development. You can switch these candles to like four hour candles, 15 minutes candles, one hour candles. Here you have the order book, all the sell orders in red, all the buy orders in green. And you have the, last, the latest trades. And if we want to buy Dogecoin now, all we have to do is we have to do either a market or a limit order. A market order is way um, easier. So the only thing you need to do is you need to specify how much you want to buy. So let's say you want to invest 100% of your euros and then you just click buy Dogecoin. Um, you can also do a limit order. There you need to um, specify the price you want to pay. So let's say, okay, if Dogecoin drops to 40 cents, I want to buy, I want to invest 100% of my euros into Dogecoin and then you click buy. And as you can see, the order is now written in the order book. And it will stay there until the price is reached. However, if the price never drops to that level, it will stay, stay there forever. And of course, you can cancel the order anytime. Um, selling is basically the same. You can say, okay, I want to sell 100% of my Dogecoin with a market order or a limit order. You can say, okay, I want to sell 100% of my Dogecoin if the price hits 80 cents, for example. Oops. So there you could type in 80 cents and then it would go in the order book. However, you can choose any price you want. So that's basically it. That's buying and selling. You could also do that against Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies. Just want to show you that the trading interface will basically look the same. You need to choose spot here, uh, limit or market order. Then you can just choose how much you want to invest. So that's it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have a Binance account yet, please feel free to use the link in order to save 10% on fees. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.